make the homemade butter. So I thought, what better time than um, 8.30 p.m. on a Monday night to film all this and show you and then do all the dishes. Let's go. So you only really need two ingredients for this recipe. Um, I'm using 35% cream, otherwise known as whipping cream. Um, and you only need like not even a tablespoon of salt. Um, right here, I just used the end of a carton I had in my fridge from the last time I made butter. And then I'm going to use this whole entire carton uh, for this batch. Yeah, it's really simple. You're going to be surprised. Shout out to my awesome outfit, my shirt that I wore all day, and my sweet pajama pants. Gotta love the stripes and plaid. Oh, there's a tailor! <laughs> okay, so I'm starting off on low, but really you can just go straight to high. Um, we want this going blending on high, and it will only take about 10 minutes start to finish. It's really really simple so for now it's just a waiting game put sugar in this it'd be really good but whoop, just whipped cream right now gotta keep going so we're still only about three minutes in but you're really gonna start to notice that the texture is changing getting a bit more a bit thicker than what the cream usually is and you really just have to pay attention to the texture inside and the sound that your blender is actually going to make um, the sound is really going to be what shows you and if you look in the bottom of my blender right here you can see um, the color is actually changing. It's turning a bit yellow in the area that I'm pointing to. Um, and all around the outside is still kind of that whipped cream, but right down in the bottom, uh, it's that nice golden, buttery yellow color. Okay, so now we're really starting to get somewhere. The sound in my blender has changed, and you can see on top it looks really liquidy and that butter yellow color again and that's actually the buttermilk um, starting to separate from the butter itself. I has a couple of chunks in here so I'm just gonna knock them down because they're not quite butter yet. Look around the edges. Oops. Make sure it's all getting in there. We're still not quite there. Very close. Okay, so we're maybe only like five minutes into this butter making process. And I just kind of hang out in the kitchen with the blender. And you're going to see me in just a couple seconds. Um, the sound of the blender is going to change. So just listen up for that. Oh. She hears it. sound to change and then you can really tell 
that it's almost done and you look in and it's butter yay okay so we're halfway okay. there so we've got our butter and buttermilk it's still all mixed together and now what we have to do is separate the butter from the buttermilk and right now this buttermilk is still awesome like you're gonna pay five bucks for this much buttermilk and i only paid like six dollars for the whole thing of whipping cream and like that's unreal and i'm gonna have no waste afterwards because what i do is i use the buttermilk to bake my sandwich bread or to make pancakes or whatever so we have to separate our buttermilk from our butter and what i've got is i have this little tiny strainer thing hand me down from my nana i don't know sometimes i use um the cheese pot this isn't even real cheese pot i don't know it's some like cheap cloth for chicken or something that i got at the grocery store i've got a funnel about what i want my buttermilk in and i've got like a little holding container for any extra butter that i found that i find in my buttermilk so first thing first um i like to i like to use this particular one because it rests nicely on my measuring cup so i'm going to take the buttermilk and i'm going to pour it through here Right now all we've got is the butter and I've got some butter in here. What I'm going to do is just squeeze out with my hands whatever extra buttermilk there is in the butter. And I'm actually going to take this and plop it right back in here. Now, everything's going to get messy so don't even worry about it. Now. This right here is pure buttermilk. Um, what we're gonna do next is we are going to do cold water rinse on our butter because in here there's still a lot of buttermilk. So we're gonna pour some cold water in, we're gonna blend it up, get the rest of the buttermilk out. But this is pure buttermilk, so it's like the stuff you would buy in the store. Now, after you do the rinse, you'll get like a watered down buttermilk, and you can still add this. But I don't really love to. I've done it a few times, but I'd rather just like get rid of that and use the pure butter buttermilk. So to be extra safe, I like to grab my little strainer over top of my funnel and just double strain it again because like do you really want chunks of butter in your buttermilk? Okay, so buttermilk done and good. Now I've got cold water. Just pour it right in on top of your butter. I know it seems kind of crazy, but it's fine. And we're just gonna blend quickly for not even a minute. We're just gonna strain this out now. Exact same before I'm actually gonna use this giant jar. Okay, so this is our butter. Now we're Right now is the time that you're just gonna take yourself. Just 
sprinkle a little bit in. I don't know. Teeny handful. You can always add more if you don't like the taste out there. And you're just going to give it another little buzz. change the recipe I saw a little bit until it worked for our family. Why and I'm showing my friends. Why are you dumping that? Because that's water that's left in the butter. Would you want water in your butter? Ew! Why are you making, why are you even making this butter? So that you can eat it on your food? Oh. So, so if you want to show your friends that we're making butter, we I'm going to take a video and then I'm going to put it on the internet for them to see. Um, are they all in one big family? My friends? Yeah. Nope, they all have their own families. And then if they're all one big family, one would just yell out. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah. Why, I, would, why would they yell out? Because it's a little bit. Oh. Hi. Don't do that. Okay. Pat it down. Pat it down. I'm squeezing it. Wow. To get the water out. Watch it. Okay, so we squeezed another cup almost of watery buttermilk out of the butter that we already scraped and all that's left to do and you'll see that there's still a little bit of water you can get more in depth with this than me but I kind of take the shortcut um, and all I do is just put it on a container um, put it in a container and we have left this on the counter for um, a few days, but around like the fourth or fifth day, I started noticing a funky smell. Um, so I would recommend that you keep it in the fridge um, and just like take it out enough for a day or two, just so it doesn't go holy and stanky. Um, but yeah, so. Shoot, I should have measured how much butter this made, but it made enough to fill this sandwich size container and then some. And that'll probably do us for like a week. Which I mean kind of my opinion. Anyways, hope this helps guys. If you have any questions, email me or Instagram me or something like that. I really hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you want me to make any more videos about all the stuff I get up to, let me know. I can always do that. Um, but this butter is so delicious and, like, the best part is it's zero waste and there's no preservatives, there's no funky stuff that my kids are eating. Oh my gosh, Gabe taking a huge chunk there. <laughs> what a brat. <laughs>